<coughs> Excuse me. What is happening, everyone? The Doctor of Red here, and welcome to the one, the only, second Doc member, and second annual Doc member finale. Resident. Part one of three. Today, we got a lot to get to. Hold on, let's check, change our costume. Today, we got a lot to get to. Hold on. We'll do classic police. New game, Leon's Kennedy Standard. Today we're going to be playing the re games. Um, we're going to be doing three streams. <laughs> and, <clears throat> man, I cannot do commentary. I'm sorry. I need a drink of coffee or something. Uh, sorry for the late start. I intended to get here a little bit earlier today since we had so much to get to. But don't worry, I I will not rest until I finished all three Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 4 remakes. And I am so excited. So let's get this started. I have not played Resident Evil 2 since the beginning of Doc's member, I'm pretty sure. So, practically a whole 30 days without RE2. And I am super excited to get in. Oh, I love this game. <clears throat> There has been two streams I've done this month of <laughs> Resident Evil 2 and 3. Uh, day one, I did, what's it called? A crazy stream where I played Resident Evil 2 Remake 2019 on the PlayStation 4, Entertainment, PlayStation 4 Visual Game Entertainment System six times in a row. That was a stream on, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe to be day 19, um, I played Resident Evil 3 Remake 2020 on the PlayStation 4 Video Game Entertainment System uh, five times. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've had some crazy streams this month. And it's kind of it's kind of surreal to realize that it's actually ending. Um, I have never ever streamed uh, this much in one month, ever, not even close. <clears throat> like, we've streamed like maniacs this month. I'm pretty sure the current time, I may be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure, actually I probably shouldn't say it until the, until we finish the finale. Actually, yeah. I'll say it. Um, I'm pretty sure we're currently at 174 hours, which, yeah, is pretty insanity. That was an extremely early Zambi. Luckily, luckily I was prepared for an early one. We'll see if we can get this. Oh, we are so lucky, dude. We got an early zombie and we got the stinking zombie dodge. That is good luck if you ask me. But yeah, I shouldn't get in, um, too into the finale talk right now. Like, we've just started. We have just started. Let's enjoy these. Some of the best games ever made, in all honesty. Some people will argue that Resident Evil 3 is not good. It's a good game. I love Resident Evil 3. It's a great game. It's just not a good remake. But 
Capcom just should have put a little bit more time into it. It's really the only problem that the remake has. <clears throat> Though we are rusty, I did expect to be a little bit more rusty. What in the but we are by no means not rusty. Like, we are definitely rusty. Just not as rusty as I thought we would be. Oh, that was way too early. Probably. Excuse me, miss. Go ahead and make sure you move the shelf there so you don't have to deal with moving it again later. And we are just going to ignore Marvin, actually. But you can actually skip that little cutscene. You don't have to go down there. Now, if you want some extra storage, you do want to go down there. Like, if you want to get the shotgun and stuff, but... For the most part, you don't need to. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Darn it. I don't know why I like quoting that. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it! I chose such a good actor for Leon. And I know this is coming from a guy who's played the remake first, but. I can't see Leon being different than this Leon. They also did a great job on RE4. I'm pretty sure it's the same actor. Let me in. Oh, let go. Ah, this game is like comfort food. I actually got some decent sleep um, last night. I just think that I slept too much. Because, you know, like I said, um, I did intend to get started a little bit earlier. Like, um, four would have been a good time to start. Just get a head start. We'll go ahead and grab that herb, why not? So I can have extra one for Birkin. Look at a little zombie. Yeah, this has overall just been a crazy month. 
streaming wise. And I'm glad we didn't miss a day either. Cause that's totally, you know, possible. You know, anything could have happened to miss a day. I should be looking at the liquor right now. Kind of my fault. Not kind, it is my fault. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go through here. life is here. Now a little trick that I like to show is that you can actually prevent this shell from falling if you do this. <clears throat> Pretty cool little trick. Helps a lot. Alright, woman bow snake. Zombie was in an awkward spot there, but we made it. And there we go, you now have all three medallions and you can go fight Birkin. And I'm also, before we go, going to snatch one more healing. Right here. <sighs> Got him. Alright, we got hit once, that's okay, but we got two healings for Birkin, so that'll be more than enough. You really only need one Birkin, one healing for Birkin on console. But if we get if we get worse luck, we'll need to. Well, I mean to be fair, I did get damaged a little bit, but that honestly shouldn't affect it that much. Okay, got him to transform, that's good. Try to aim for the eye as much as you can. I'm kinda sad he didn't die there, but that is okay. Get kicked, my friend. Yeah, I knew he was definitely close. Uh, we'll use this healing up here. We get, we'll get a green herb in just a second. Should be like right here. Yep. And that, my friends, is how you do the RPD plus the first boss. Now it's time to tackle the parking lot. Well, I mean, we're still in the RPD, but not main RPD. <laughs> Not the main area. Excuse me, an RPD. 
we're going to like you know the parking lot area, basement. I guess we can just call it the basement area. If that works, but we won't. I mean, right now we're kind of in the basement. Who know? Who knows? We'll call it the parking lot. How about that? We'll just call it the Giga Chad parking lot. How about that? Chase after hey, Ada. I'm not done talking to you. Can't let her close the door, dude. Never mind, we failed. We have failed. We have failed gamers. Oh. I almost got a little too excited and almost lost without the little crank. Put on one second, by the way. One second. Ignore those dogs, they're not worth the ammo, trust me. They're not worth the time and or ammo. We got the first electrical part. We now need to turn on the power and so we can get back to the main area of the RPD. Alright, let's see if I can do a good job at avoiding these dogs. There is a little bit of luck involved, but mostly if you get hit by a dog, it's you messing up. Like here. See that? You got a small time window to avoid that extra lunge he does. Again, there's a little bit of luck into avoiding all the dog hits, but... A lot of it is up to your movement. Here can be a little bit finicky. You can burst through there. So just kind of hug the right like this. You should jump. Yep, just like that. That's exactly what you want to see. Now this part's completely up to luck. Almost completely up to luck. You just want to hope the doggies be nice and not hit you. There we go. That was good luck. Let's go. Didn't even get hit once. That's how you want that area to look. Don't always get that lucky, but when you do, it does feel good. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. We're not going to turn on the lights or nothing. We're going to equip this flashbang, because I like to use it here. Oh, he didn't let me use it. How rude. We can just do that though. No big deal. Spare knife. Now, now it'll keep those guys stunned long enough for you to leave. Uh, shoot Elliot to stun him. Because Elliot can still attack you, is why. Now, if you remember this little corner back here in the second floor of the RPD, you can actually use this here. This is going to help us get the second electrical part. Go 
go ahead and discard that. Won't need it anymore. I should note that the game lets you know when you don't need an item anymore. It'll have like a little check mark on the side. So don't worry, the game won't let you discard items that you still need. So don't worry about that. Now the ladder for Leon actually breaks. So we have to get back another way. Let's Claire you just go back there. But what Leon does get, that Claire don't, is that he actually gets access to a save room here. I really like. The good old use healing as they come. We are now at full health. We're gonna go ahead and equip this flashbang. This is where I like to use the second flashbang. We're gonna get here, we're gonna throw this straight up. We're gonna, oh, I thought we were gonna get to cl click the switch first, but that's okay. If you do it fast enough, you'll get to click the switch before you get stunned. It doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. I just like it. I think it might save you in a whopping half a second or something, I don't know. Maybe. Pressing that lever down there will make this water activate here. And we needed to get that key too so we can open a new door. A couple new doors, but we're only going to open one with it. One or two. Let's get it. Make sure you're kind of close to him. Run forward and left to avoid him when he swings like that. I usually come down here. I don't know which way's faster though, the upper root or the lower root. I always go to the lower root almost, almost always at least. So this is the most dangerous part of the game. So yeah, the Mr. X dodge is pretty easy. Just stay close to him, aim at him. Um, the moment he swings, he didn't jump on the wall. Crap, 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 crap. I should be looking at him, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Um, once he swings, run forward and left. Don't run too much left. You don't need to go as much left as you think. Make sure you try to go more forward. And then you can kind of just squeeze right past him. I don't like how we just squeeze right past that zombie. As you can see, this kind of makes the... Oh, no, that is bad luck. I did not expect Mr. X to be there that fast. Well, this is so very sad. So yeah, this is why I call it the most dangerous part of the game. That's the exact reason why. So if anyone wonders why I call that the most dangerous part of the game, now you know. Do you think the final boss is dangerous? Nope. Do you think, um, uh, what's it called? Do you think G3 is dangerous? No. Do you think the sewers are dangerous? No. That little hallway, when you're trying to do it fast, I forgot to shoot. When you're, that little hallway, when you're trying to shoot it fast, that's dangerous. What I should have done was shoot the ground before I entered this room, but I got caught up in talking. Because it lures the zombies to that side of the room, keeps them away from you. Or at least sometimes they'll keep them away from you, not always. Not always. Another case of use healing as it comes. That's why I picked it up. So this is actually where we get the second. I don't think this guy will buy me. Okay. This is actually where we get the second um, electrical part. Not done with this. Now that we got the small one, we'll put the big one here.
Oh, Lego. Don't forget to pick up the electrical part. That's the reason why I like to remind myself there, because I have done it before. Now we're just going to run. Nice. Sometimes Mr. X is there, but that time he wasn't. Hopefully he's not behind this door, though. Sweet. We're going to use that little broken part on the little, you know, that little bridge there to get down here faster, and we're essentially... We are essentially good to go. And now we're going to head to the hallway of doom. Or hallway of death, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure most people call it the hallway of doom. And the reason why it's called that is, well, I mean, it's very dangerous and it ends speed runs a lot of the times. So we're going to grab this flashbang. I should grab that healing there, but I did not because I'm cool. Also, let me um, reload my stream manager. It was skipping a little bit. Just to make sure everything's going good. Alright. Now, we're going to try to do this with no flashbang. And I failed because I forgot about it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I am such a cool gamer. It kind of messes up everything. This messes up everything, dude. <clears throat> but yeah, that was okay. Just don't do what I did and forget about Elliot. <laughs> so just do better than me, and that's how, and you'll be good. Darn, sucky. We're gonna have to use this healing. We're gonna get in a minute. But that's so right. We'll likely do it without dying, because I'm cool. I'm a cool gamer. Hopefully I can do this little skip here correctly. I'm not very good at it. I've never have been. The only slightly scary part is that I won't have an extra healing here. I could go the soy beta route, but I'm not going to. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, there I go. Okay, the little parking thingy. We're going to go ahead and just use this. I mean, not going to waste no time. Go ahead and use it. So what we want to do is run through here, waste no time. We want to shoot the fat zombie, and then throw this. And then go grab. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And yeah, it works, let's go. And don't get grabbed by him and you're good. Never been very good at that, but I'm glad I was able to do it. <clears throat> Explosion through the wall, I appreciate that, Mr. X. <clears throat> So yeah, that prison escape part turned out pretty okay. I think I got grabbed by the wrong zombie. But that, I mean, it honestly don't really matter. We, we got there. Long, all that matters is that you get the zombie spawned and Mr. X spawned. I'm um, stunned. Stunned is what I meant to say. That's all that truly matters. Kendo. 
No one has ever seen Kindo and Kindo in the same place at the same time, so. Well, technically they have, but we don't talk about that. So, we don't know if Kindo, you know, Kindo, my mod, is that Kindo, so who knows? Who knows if he is? It could be the same guy. You, know, you, can, you never really know, dude. So I'm going to get to this cutscene and I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine real scientists being down here. Come on. Welcome. I'm actually really excited to play RE4 Remake again today because it's actually been a while. <clears throat> Like, we've already played 2 and 3 this month, but we have not played 4, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to play 3, too. I mean, I mean, all these games are just so fun, I can sit and play these games all day. Like, what a fitting finale for a Doc member. Sync check. Yep, looks good. I like to, have, I like to grab this for a little extra ammo for the Ivy later on. Okay, going to get to this cutscene, take a sip of coffee, and we'll continue. Now that is some good stuff. It's got some weird, like, pumpkin creamer, like pumpkin pie creamer. And it's pretty good, but it, there's a little bit too much cinnamon. I feel, like, I feel like it should be a little bit creamier, if that makes sense. Mr. Raccoon right there. The light makes it a little hard to see, but I can see that little red spot. A little, mess, little, little, uh, Raccoon, Mr. Raccoon, will be um, bobbling there. Hurry up, Ada. Leon, up here. What the hell was... Just get up Just here. Get up here. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into not monsters, reptiles. Not reptiles. <laughs> not reptiles. Usually if I would have a shotgun here, I would make Leon do a little dance, but unfortunately we don't. So let me get this straight. We can make him do the, like the knife dance though. Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And the net is who makes the viruses. The story is the alligator was. The net is far more The knife dance. Have to have that turn around too. Secret weapon time. You can run a net. I still can't believe that matter say secret weapon time. Secret weapon time. <laughs> After climbing this ladder, we have just now entered the second half of the game. Three, two, one, boom. We are now in the second half of the game. Roughly. Roughly in the second half. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice keeps doing this. And voice crocs. This can make a stair skate a little bit easier, so we'll use this for the stairs here. There we go. 
switch back to handgun. Avoid this little soy beta like this. Now, if we're fast enough here, everything should go good, generally. And we were not at all. I was super slow, but that is okay. He's using his hands to block us, oh no. Well, I would say like at this point, you're roughly halfway through the game. Once you get up that elevator. Now we're roughly halfway through the game. Press a little lever. Bravo. Gonna burn my eyes now. You'll never get your filthy hands on G. Thinking beta and that. And that Birkin will always be a soy beta. Please arrive before this date. Not gonna happen. Back to loan school Kennedy. Ada, where are you? The Leon verse continues. <laughs> I bet it smells like roses down here. Alright, here's Mike up here. Hold on. Let's go say hi to Mike. And our way we greet him is by bonk. Okay, he's done. I thought he didn't stun for a second. Here is Frank over here. You gotta name the zombies. We need eventually we need to name all the zombies. You know, you know good and well I don't feel good. You know good and well I don't feel good. What the hell? Where'd she go? I'm coming in. 
You can do it, Leon. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. Get rid of this. We'll keep that grenade on me just in case of emergencies. Get rid of this too. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this and keep this. This like that. That looks good. That looks pretty alright to go. Excuse me. We don't really need this healing, but I mean, we can make it anyways. Just in case of emergencies. I can't aim for anything, can I? No, I actually lost. Oh my gosh, I cannot aim. Hold on. What the? Shit. I actually like to kind of take these two out. They cause some problems later on if you don't. Minor problems with problems nonetheless. Sorry for all the yawning and that is our next grenade. If we keep going here we will be fine. Now if you're on like caution, not caution, but if you're on like danger with Leon, where Leon's a little bit slower, you can still make it past there. You just might get bumped by him when he comes out of the water. And not hurt, just where he, you know, where he like staggers a tiny bit when he splashes out of the water. But if you just keep holding forward and run after that, you should most definitely be fine. Like in literally just about any circumstance, you can literally just keep running and completely avoid that. That G-Adult, or Diarrhea Monsters as I like to put it. I know for a long time I would call the things the Diarrhea Monsters, and honestly it's pretty valid. I don't think too many people would disagree. People might not like hearing it, but I don't think they would disagree with it. Luck one, two, or three. I think that's luck two, right? Go, 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 go. Yeah, he's gonna splash out. Yeah, Leon will do that if you're not fast enough. But as you can see, I can still avoid him there, too. I just wanted to 100% confirm he was doing a um, diving animation. You know, despawn animation. Just needed that confirmation. Now, this is definitely the most luck point of the game. Uh, most of your, if you speed run, most of your runs will end here. Probably. Because, in all honesty, this part, a lot of, a lot of it's up to luck how well it goes. Like, you can know how to deal with the enemies, but, like I said, a lot of what's going to happen here is up to luck. But I'm going to teach you your best, I'm going to give you the, you know, your best shot at least. So despite this guy being buried to the left, you still need to dodge him to the left. I almost completely failed that. Now you want to go all the way to the right like this. Good luck, left guy. And just keep running from this guy and you'll be fine. Now crazy enough, I'm actually um, surprised I pulled that off because I actually messed it up. I should have got grabbed. But that's okay. Not complaining. But what you want to do is don't do what I do and run away from the guy after I shot him. I just thought I was a little too close, which I think I was. But, you know, despite him being towards the left, you still need to dodge him to the left. Is the main factor. So don't be scared to dodge the homie. 
Now getting back is pretty random too, not just getting here. Cause you have to go all the way back. I've got no decaps this stream, have I? Alright, that zombie will be stuck there forever, poor little guy. Puzzle is extremely simple, now we just want to come back out here and grab this. Let me come back around here, and we are good to go. So now we got all three of the other pieces we need, and we got the flame barrel. The flame barrel is helpful in G2 and G3. Spawn animation. Now, if something else don't spawn, we got good luck. Sweet. Not the entire. That, that was good luck. I'm not complaining at all. But there, I'm pretty sure there is a better luck you can get where there literally just nothing is there to bother you. Like, you don't even have to do what I did and let that guy despawn. <laughs> if you get like the best and you know the best luck possible but that was like the second best thing like he was close to us he despawned without any problems and we went past him and nothing else spawned and nothing else was there so that's uh that's very lucky i'm perfectly fine with that if i was speed running i would be satisfied with that King here. Queen. We need that one where it stands. We grab this. Put a rook here. Put knight here. And bishop right here. Now go ahead and make sure the knife is equipped. You don't want to use anything else here. I mean, you can use a flashbang here if you want if he's not cooperating towards the end when you hit him the second time if you have to hit him a second time but you know that's very situational now we could use a grenade here to possibly speed this little hand throwing a fit up but I am actually going to take advantage of that and sip some coffee so we are going to let him do a thing I'm not very good at doing it anyways so Instead of wasting, possibly wasting a grenade, we're just going to let him do a thing. So if you just stand right here against the wall, he cannot hit you. Really good beginner's tip here, because you can take a lot of damage here trying to run around. Good old copy. One more. Nope. I thought he was gonna hit, hit, do it one more time. Yep, uh, knife is equipped, we're good to go. Disrupt flames over out, knife equipped, let's go. It's still alive. It is very, very, very much still alive, Mr. Leon School Kennedy. If you don't know what the S stands for in his name, it stands for Scott. Leon Scott Kennedy. Extra knife here, we don't need it right now though, but I will grab it on my way out. I start bombarding this guy, like no question. He'll jump, avoid that, do it again. Bonus. 
bonk, 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 bonk. Just go ham with the knife as much as you can. Yikesers. Jinxy, jinkies even. That'll be great if you fail here. Now I got you. Now I've got you. He fell a little forward actually. I'll just do that. We'll see how it goes, and it is a yes, let's go. We did just enough damage, grab this knife, flashbang, go ahead, why not? Handgun. Let's hope that's the last one. Let's go meet up with Ida. Um, we don't really need to use the healing, we'll keep those on us. <clears throat> and we will go see if we can help Miss Ida out. Head to the lab. Well, speaking of helping Ada, we're actually going to run to the lab as fast as humanly possible. Nice. Where'd you get that? Oh, Lego. We got everything we need for the lab. We could crisp Ada. Turn it into a skewer. Man, stair skinning sucks. Was this thing in flame there? Oh, good grief. Are you setting these stand clear? No, thank you. We're gonna run straight under it. I remember when I first played, I thought I was gonna get crushed. So I actually was careful here. Why snow time? Investigate the lab. Shoot that door. Helps manipulate that zombie to get towards the door in there. He usually leaves you alone, but go ahead and reload that. Go ahead and reload your handgun too. Well, we didn't get a chance to reload our handgun too, but we'll get, we'll, we, we will, if I can speak, reload our handgun up here. We're actually about to get another knife, but we really don't need it. Like we got, we got a lot of knives. So let's hope this zombie leaves us alone. I think he turned around though. Which is sad. I'm ready for the flame there. I'll go ahead and get it too. So he's probably like right here. Yep. So what I did there was the bulletless dodge, if you you know, if you will, you can call it whatever you want. But I call I usually call it the bait and go or whatever. Basically, um you bait, I lunge. You run back and then you run straight forward. Also, if you want the shotgun, and if you and you didn't get an RPD, right there. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the stinking. That's another way to dodge in this game. Actually, it can be helpful in certain. We don't need most of these healings. It can be helpful, and we can use to get rid of one of these knives too. Well, I'll keep one of them on me. I'll keep two of them on me. No, looks good. Hold on. There we go. So yeah, um, the bait and go. Just provoke them to lunge, run back, then run forward and left or right, depending on you know where they're at. Works like a charm because in this game, uh, the zombies actually have a lot of stinking recovery frames. Think of it as something like Street Fighter, and you do a whiff punish, right? You know, you see a move that has a lot of frame recovery and then you react to it and you punish it. 
Think of it as the same way. They basically did a move that has a lot of recovery frames and there's practically nothing they can do until they recover from them. So, kind of free to go. Now be careful for double lunge. An actual game? I mean, I agree. Roblox cannot compare to Resident Evil 2. Welcome on in, Ken. It is the finale, dude. We're playing the re-games today. He's telling us they come. We're playing Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 4. We're going to knock out all three of the RE Engine Resident Evil remakes. Sound good? It sounds good to me. I am super hyped. Monk. Let me go ahead and reload my stream manager. Had an RE4 power hour on midnight yesterday? Yeah, dude. I saw that you uploaded another video to your archives channel. Um, did you set the videos to um, public yet? Dispensing? Yes, I did. Oh, let's go, dude. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. I'm so glad you made that channel, dude. <clears throat> Eventually, you'll have a full playthrough of RE4 up there. Still jarring seeing the self play. You'll get used to it, trust me. I was the same way. I say our RGB, RGB, RG. So red, green, blue. Yeah, you'll get used to it, man. Don't worry. Red, green, blue, red, green. Yeah, I was kind of the same way when I first started too. Especially when I used the camera for a little while. That is something that fixes with time. Go ahead and grab this extra grenade here. How are you doing, by the way, um, today, Kinson? I'm actually quite packed with energy. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm pretty pumped. I'm pumped and ready to give it 110% for the finale. You are well. Oh, let's check this out. Yeah, Step let's go, to dude. Skip to 220. Uh, I mean, 2025. 20, gotcha. 20, 2025. Bruh. <laughs> Why, dude? <laughs> and then you start switching. Why? What is there wrong with you, dude? <laughs> We've all done it. Fuck. Oh, I think I got all the zombies in that one go, actually. Apply Ken's stamp of approval. The stamp of approval. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I like how you sent me that link just to show me that. <laughs> the important business. Aw, oh, the zombie hit me. That zombie's so rude, I'm gonna sue him for damages. Very important. Very, yes, it's very, very important. <clears throat> so if you use a flashbang here, you can actually get through here pretty easily. It'll stun all the zombies. Dude, can you believe that we started out, Doc Member, playing this game six times in a row? That was a wild day, dude. Day one. I cannot believe I started out with such a crazy, stinking stream. Yeah, playing it again, dude. Literally, like, full circle. 
full circle. Except today, we're going to also be playing RE3 and RE4. Full game. Whoa. There we go. Nice, they're both come quietly and nicely coming to the left side. Let's go. Why did they get so mad at me, though? Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have the liquors were so angry. Since I don't talk too much on stream, I need to make sure my simple actions in game are a tad entertaining. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that either. You don't have to, you don't have to do no, you know, you know, do over energetic commentary or sinking, you know, always doing commentary. Even if, if you want, you don't even have to do commentary, you know what I mean? Do whatever works for you. I do recommend, you know, giving it a try, you know what I mean? Seeing what you like. Well, that's up to you. It's entertaining either way. We got what we need. We got the the cold, stinking plant killer or whatever. Ah, oh, the plant dude was not cooperating. He said we are not cooperating today. I have several sub weapons, so we'll be perfectly fine. Dude, the Ivy used to genuinely kind of freak me out in this game. I'm not even gonna lie, and I agree with that second message too. Cause like the Ivy in this game felt so I'm not gonna say unpredictable, but like it's just the fact how how they were so fast and like uh, no warning to their actions. You know what I mean? They just kind of squiggle around and then they'll instantly like super fast lunge at you while screeching like good grief. Like barely any warning. Even if you're behind them too. They can do it. And I got good luck there by the way. I don't know. I feel like he might have last year. Man, New Year's is coming up, dude. That is insane. It's almost 2024. That is crazy. I know, dude, in Santa Cat. <laughs> yeah, like, it's incredible. I need to add that email, by the way, but yeah, dude, it's like, it's mind boggling, even. It should not be 2024. It should not be 2023. I'd argue it should not even be 2022. <laughs> Where did the time go, dude? that it has been less than a year when I started shiting on this part of the town. And it means it has been less than a year when I started crapping on this part of the town. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, I appreciate you being here, man. You've been, you've been like, thinking aggressively <laughs> supporting since you, you've been here. You've been in almost every single stream. I appreciate that. Just like this month too, you've literally been here every single stream. I don't think there's been a stream where you haven't been here.
So I appreciate that much. Let's see. Let's get ready for this um, semi-final boss. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's just always been here. We always had a kin of dough creeping in the creeping in the corner. <laughs> oh man. No, give me my grenades. I need them. I don't need it. I need it. Did I even grab this? I feel like I did, but okay. We got, we got ready, gamers. I don't see it in my inventory. Maybe it's not supposed to be there. Oh, my stream manager is saying no a little bit today for some reason. Let me reload it. There we go. Come on, Twitch. Don't be a beta. I am politely asking Twitch to not be a beta. Huh? Admittedly, I'm a talkative fellow on the office. There's nothing wrong with that. Not enough people communicate these days. Like verbally. Stuff like. Not to even get into this topic, but stuff like phones and all that has become so mainstream that it's actually like considered weird or out of you know out of the norm to talk to someone like verbally yeah and I have to talk I have that talk energy stored for like two years well I mean four years now if you want to get technical can it's more like four years because this stuff started in the very end of 2019 and here we are four years later <laughs> if you really want to get technical so not two years G3 I'm asking to be nice I'm asking G3 very politely to be nice to me go and reload this my co so I just treat y'all as my co workers. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't mind. But yeah, like, nowadays just verbally talking to people you see out and about is just considered weird and kind of weird to actually think that. Oh, he hit me. That's so rude. How could he have the audacity to hit me when I'm literally cooking him? Imagine hitting me while I'm cooking him, dude. Oh, no. It's too far down! Bong. <laughs> Look at Leon's face. He's, my man's is in pain, dude. Yeah, like, how, how dare he... How dare he hit me when I'm literally cooking him. He is practically dead. Yep. Like, the moment he was able to die, because when he does that little animation and goes to pick up this thing, he can't die. So literally, like, the frame, he was able to die, he stinging died. My man's got cooked a little too much. Let him cook. Sink. Check. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> we are here, gamers. We are here once again. I mean, when you if you really want to get technical, does that technically mean this is the seventh time we've played Resident Evil 2 this month? Because remember... I got my full Resident Evil 2 fix on stinking November the 1st. Yes. So, so I would not have the urge to play it again this month. <laughs> and I played it six times. <laughs> I did Leon A, all cutscenes, Claire A, all cutscenes. I accidentally skipped one or two cutscenes, but still. 
So, you know, all cutscenes, and then I did Leon A Hardcore, Claire A Hardcore, and then I did Leon B, and then I did Leon, and then I followed it up again with another, like, Leon A. And now I'm playing it again. So this is technically the seventh time we played it this month. That is nuts. What was wrong with me? I am way too much of a fanboy of this game. I still wonder why game companies just can't make a virtual console for us to buy and play classic. I don't either, dude. I really don't. Like, I'm one of, and, and I, that's coming from a guy who's one of the lucky people who can play out games, because I actually have, like, a lot of out systems. So if I want to play out games, I can. Why is my stream manager, manager being such a beta? Like, the stream's fine. But the stream manager keeps skipping, and I have to keep reloading it. We don't need backwards compat. Yeah, we. Yeah, I was about to say. I disagree. <laughs> I highly disagree with that. But I know what you're trying to say. But still, I know, dude. Like, ugh. Like, you know, I never. I for a while, I didn't really give it too much thought. And like, why? And at the time, like, I was like, you know, why do people complain about backwards compatibility? Why are people complaining about like, oh, I can't play old games. I want to play them on my new system, you know? And my mind at the time was like, okay, play it on the old systems. What's wrong with that? But then, when my pea-sized brain grew to a stinking chickpea-sized brain, because you know, a chickpea is like slightly bigger than a pea, I was like, oh. Not everyone has all these old systems, and not everyone wants to go eBay hunting for sinking loose copies of games that could be reproductions where they're scamming people. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or pay stinking full, stinking brand new price for a freaking stinking racing game on the Nintendo 64. Peas are pretty good. I don't think I've ever really tried chick peas all that much. I used to hate peas, but I've grown to like them a little bit more. I just think that um, peas are something you got to be careful with because their taste is very intrusive. Especially canned peas. Canned peas have a very intrusive flavor. So let's say you make a soup, right, and you put a can of peas in it. Your entire soup will taste like peas. No question. So you got to be careful with that. You don't even have to put a full can of peas for it to fully taste like peas. You just gotta be careful with peas. I'm talking way too much about peas. Is he gonna break the rock? He is gonna break the rock, okay. Gonna break the rock. Nope. My, he's probably gonna break it here. Nope. Bonk. No damage. Let's go. That's about as good of a tie. Um, what's it called? Super tyrant you can get. That's about the best you can get. At least at my current skill level, so I'm fine with that. No damage, decently fast. Let's go. I'm still thinking <sighs> about the load I'll use on Pro. I'm still thinking about the load I'll use on RE4 Pro, yeah dude. It's gonna be sinking hard. I need to get to that soon too. So that was Resident Evil 2. Zero saves, hour and ten minute, S plus, Leon S. Kennedy, standard. I'll meet you guys in Resident Evil 3.